Hey everybody, welcome to the world. I'm here in my studio and uh, today's video, I promise after Monday's um, video about anxiety and introversion, I wanted to make a, a fun video for today. And uh, what I am uh, showing you today is actually the making of this new piece that's right behind me. Um, I actually just finished it. Some of it over here is actually still wet, but it's done, yay. I just wanted to uh, finish it and it will most likely be the last large piece that I finish in this studio uh, because I have to start wrapping things up here because um, we're moving more on that at a later time. But, uh, so this is the largest uh, the, the last large piece that I'm probably going to finish here and uh, I did uh, from beginning to end uh, I captured it on film so you will get to see it I wanted to share that process and just have some fun with it I hope you enjoy that before we get to that I did want to uh, to show you something if you saw the video about uh, dealing with anxiety and being an introvert and I was wondering if I had uh, always been an introvert or if uh, people and situations caused me to retreat and become one um, I did mention in that video that there was a definite change there was a point where uh, I became a different child a different person and I actually found photographic proof <laughs> which I will show to you now you can see through the years the, the changes you can you can see that I uh, was like I went from like to this like cold dead eyes anyway I just thought it was it was funny because I found these these photos as I was cleaning up and uh, I was like there it is you can tell you can see there's there's proof of a a shift a, a change um, Oh well, you know, whatever. I'm trying to go back to that kid that uh, that was uh, happy and uh, before it got to me. Anyway, so. today's video is all about this piece. I haven't even titled it yet, and I hung it up, hung it up like this. But it, I'm leaving it. I'm signing the back. I'm not gonna sign the front because I think it's one of those pieces that uh, deserves for whoever uh, buys it, for them to decide how they want to hang it or frame it. And uh, I think that's, like, to me, that's what appeals to me about a, a piece like this, where it's so open uh, to interpretation and how, um, the, you know, how you wanna look at it. So right now I hung it this way, but it looks good to me any which way. This was a very fun process. I had no uh, ideas going into this uh, painting uh, as to what it was going to look like. I literally tried my best to unhook from my brain and just <clears throat> let it happen. So it was fun. It, uh, it came to be in a very uh, authentic and natural way and I had a great time uh, doing it. So enjoy the making of this piece, which the title just came to me. It is called Delirium. Uh, so enjoy it. I'm uh, excited to share it with you. Uh, so subscribe on my YouTube channel if you haven't. And uh, this will be on Facebook and on my IGTV as well. So take care. I will be back.
Hey everybody, I interrupt this video to uh, just give a little update uh, on this piece. I am not 100% sure um, what it's going to look like. I have done my best to just give in and I'm allowing my hands to just do whatever they want to do with this piece. And so far, I, I really like it. Um, oh, that's horrible over there. I'm right now using uh, these Prismacolor metallic, silver metallic marker. Uh, and uh, that's why I'm creating this. And uh, this is a mixed media, of course. Lots of acrylics and uh, Sakura gel pens, like the jelly rolls. I created that with the jelly rolls. It's fun to kind of just let it be, allow it to happen. The last couple of months, I have been doing my best to just give into the art and let it do whatever it wants to do. But like I mentioned when I did my uh, 10 year anniversary, art anniversary video, I am self-taught and I just experiment. So abstract always was very intimidating. Um, but then I have really grown to appreciate the, uh, the freedom that it gives me. I don't need to control it. It just has to come and, and do whatever it wants to do. So that's what I'm doing with this one. And I can't wait to uh, finish it and we'll get back to me working so I can finish.